Hi guys, I've not had a very productive day today, mostly because I was up, well I was going to say up late, I was actually up earlier than normal, um, but I spent a good couple of hours in town with mum, so I haven't really done a lot. I'm sucking on one of these, I could chew it and crunch it all up, but for some reason I like sucking on them like mints. They are the spearmint flavoured. They do a fruit flavoured one of these. These are Sainsbury's. But um, I don't like the fruit ones. <laughs> right. I was just talking to someone online. I'll, I'll walk away from that before I get too distracted. <laughs> Um, I did try, there's this big string of Christmas lights down there, I did take them between that point and that point, but they're too long, I'd have had to double back with them and then there's a risk I wouldn't be able to take the end down, so what I'm going to do is probably go for my smaller and um, lighter in weight set of lights I've got and just, just um, take them across there. I've had them quite a few years now. I think I've bought them, it was either the first Christmas I spent here or the second, I can't remember. It might have been the second. Actually thinking about it, I'm pretty certain it was the second Christmas I bought them. Um, and they're for indoor outdoor use, 24 volt, and it's pretty much a string of LED lights. So you can just imagine I bought them, that must be about five years ago now. And, um, so they're not the brightest, but you can see them. But I was just going to tack them along the um, window ledge, maybe. Because um, the PVC tape should hold that, hold them um, pretty sturdy, or pre pretty sturdy, pretty well, I mean. Um, another thing I've done is uh, pretty much finished the um, project I was on. Just need to get rid of these two brackets in here because I decided I'm not going to use those. But yeah, I've uh, done a lot of work on the outside. Let's just turn the lights on. I do like these LED lights. I've got used to working by them now. Yeah, got my steps in. Storage cupboard, which I could easily take apart and actually make it a lot bigger. That storage cupboard, if I wanted to, because uh, the steps are not actually joined to the building. See, just broken my air conditioned unit that I put on the side here. May have been better off on the back wall, but oh well. I've, oh, oh, I've got a ghost in here, my plant has fallen over. I'm not sure how, as it was attached. Where's my little man? He can, uh, I think I can put him to bed. Look at that. If I can get his feet locked. Oh, there goes my plant again. At least if I put him on the bed, I'll know where he is. Oh. Okay. This is getting pinged off of there for some reason, and I don't know why. That'll do. Lamp. The lamp chair. And I think I haven't done anything in there, so that hasn't changed. Gonna um, adjust the bike stand though. That's about it. Either way, I think it's another nice. Uh, put the roof on round the right way. It might work. See. 
a weak panel there. I'm careful not to press on that. Right. Because of the door, the roof will only go on round um, one way. There's the old 1980s bike shop set. <laughs> and there's mine. A bit more of a, a modern version, we'll say. I like it. So it makes, you, makes me wish I could uh, wave a magic wand, turn myself into a Lego figure and live there. <laughs> my dreams. I can fantasize at least in my own memory. I'm sure most of us do that. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done bugger all. Printed a, um, another My Hermes thing off for that wheel. I think it sold for a little less than £10. Um, the dinky car sold for ten pounds sixty, and I better take this and put that to one side. This one sold as well, even though it wasn't being watched. It sold. Um, it's a bit weird. The one that was being watched, the um, silver and green one, that didn't sell. Uh, but as I did get a watcher on it, I'm uh, going to relist it before it gets too late tonight. I don't like listing things too late at night. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, I suppose it wouldn't... Now what day is it? Well, it, would end, it would end Sunday. Yeah, people would probably be going to bed early on a Sunday. For work, college, whatever. So I don't like to list too late at night. Because mm. so it lists at the same time of night or day when you list it. So if I listed it at, uh, say, 5 o'clock in the afternoon for three days, in three days' time it will end at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So I do like to aim for sort of mid-evening most of the time. Sort of around... 9 o'clock, but it's 11 o'clock, so it's not too late. Unsold, that's what I, what I wanted to go to. See, my road lamp there... ...had two watches on, but didn't sell, so I'm going to relist it. And for now, I'm just going to relist the items that did have a watcher on it. Why are you asking me to sign in? Bugger off. Just relist the damn thingamajig. Forgotten what you call it. Listing. <laughs> Why are you going into this? I don't want to edit it. I just want to list the damn thing. Yay, no fees. Still no fees. <clears throat> I don't want my listing to stand out. Because people would see it anyway, so... I'm not spending money when people... Oh, I was going to say, I think eBay is going to go slow. Right, now we go back to my eBay. Back to Unsold. We'll find that German police car. Here it is. I'll relist that one. Um... Yeah, I'll give that one another whirl. I don't think I'll bother with the games. They're not selling, so... They're not even getting watches, not even barely getting any views, so... I'll leave those. I'll leave these cars, other cars, for the time being. Uh, let's have a look at sold. £8.61 is what the wheel back there sold for. Uh, 99p for the white police car I just took over there. £10.50. Well, that's £10.60. Oh, that's where the 61 was. Oh, Confusing myself over prices now. Yeah, and £10.50 for the Mark 1 Ford Escort. Well, 
that is not bad. Over three items. That's nine sixty. Yeah, that is a, about twenty quid in my pocket, excluding you know postage costs. Um, so that isn't bad at all. Plus, I had some um, other items here, you know. £23 pounds if I count the two floppy drives and the motherboard that I sold. Uh, was it yesterday? Either yesterday or the day before they ended. But it's taking another 72 hours to put the money across, so I won't be posting that until uh, Monday. I'll probably go in Sunday. But uh, obviously post office isn't open on a Sunday. But I will get those three items packed up. Oh yeah, and the motherboard, so I've got four items to pack up. Uh, yeah. Four items to pack. Um, that's what I like about sending things via my Hermes. Hopefully they're not going to bloody piss me around with collection again and not collect it until two days later. I hope. So I've got to have that done by Monday. But um, the My Hermes carriers around here, they usually collect late afternoon, so I really need to make sure I'm in from sort of four o'clock onwards. Um, I've got that home visit Monday as well. So if the carrier comes in, a lot I can do about that, but I'll have mum here as well, for a bit of moral support. Um, yeah. <sighs> Alright, that's the other thing I want to do with that. And I only just remembered, because I saw the wires coming out of the um, back for the lighting on the town. I'm going to put a light in the actual shop, hopefully. And I uh, should be able to hide that fairly easy. Really easy, actually. If I um, extend this bit and fill that gap in, then I can <laughs> thread the wire straight through the wall. <laughs> and that will be uh, completely hidden. Yeah, but I'm not doing that tonight. Not to be bothered. Uh, still got this project to complete. Bugger! I need tiles for that as well, don't I? I need a hell of a lot of those. Uh, Two by two tiles. I have got some left in my pot. But some of them are old grey, some of them are new. I need to really sort through and put them in two separate piles so I can see what I've got. So I'd want to um, tile this off as well. Because that helps join all three, join all the boards together a lot more securely than um, these little these little plates here do that I put on the corners because I keep popping off. But uh, if I do that, I've completely cover the joints as you can see then, make everything a bit more rigid and a bit more stronger. So you can learn a lot from Lego. You can learn how to make things strong. You can learn about architecture and all sorts of stuff. There you go. <laughs> I thought I'd into it. Oh, I think I've got something irritating me right above my, um, just below my belly button. I don't know what it is. It's not a bite. Not unless it's where my belt buckle has been rubbing. Uh, anyway. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Excuse me. Try and clear my throat. Um, and some pilot messaged me yesterday, right? Private message me on here on Facebook. Um, what did you say? Don't. 
fucking big mouth it on a thread, then pussy out when you look like a complete C-U-N-T. At least have the balls to stand by your statements. You see, I can swear as well. Uh, I did reply, I just said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what thread? I ain't got a bloody clue what he's talking about. You know, I admin a number of groups, including my own. I'm a member on, I don't know how many groups. I mean, these are all groups and pages in my favourite list. You know, what bloody thread on what group are you talking about? Dipstick. <clears throat> Why people feel the need to PM someone abuse, I don't know, but never mind. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me as well. We, as in my family, my immediate family, like me, my sister, my youngest brother, um, my mum and my stepdad, do not get along with um, our other brother's girlfriend. Um, quite frankly, we just don't like her. She's a bitch. We don't like how she treats my brother. I'm not going to go into details. Not yet, anyway. Um, and quite fr well, actually, if I went into details, this video would end up being like an hour long. Um, I don't know, it's just her attitude that's always got me. And even the way she's spoken to me, even though I've got, you know, a mental condition, I've got Asperger's, She's, that's just the way she's spoken to me as well. Sending me private messages, insulting me and whatnot. Got blocked now. She's even gone as far as hijacking my brother's Facebook account and uh, tried to pose as him. Um, I can't remember though. She replied to something on one of my posts. But yeah which forced my hand to uh, block my brother for a little while because I didn't want her hijacking his account again. Why he's with her, I have no idea, to be honest, but that's his life. You know, it's what he wants. I can't stop him, you know. I can't tell him what to do. But uh, anyway, me and Mum were in Sainsbury's and at the checkout right beside us was her with a couple of friends. So me and mum did, you know, the growing up thing, we just ignored them, just pretended they weren't there, you know, because we've got nothing to say. We could have easily started a scene in the store, but, you know, we are the quite adult about it, and they did the same thing. They left the checkout before we do, in quite a hurry, I might add. I don't know why. But, uh, me and mum, we get outside. They are walking down the car park. And I'm not kidding. All her friend did was stare at us. Barely took, our, took her eyes off us. And uh, my brother's girlfriend herself gave a couple of brief looks. Which is fine, you know. But it was just her friend. That, I don't know why. And then I could see them talk to each other looking at us and then giggling like a couple of schoolgirls. And I just thought to myself, why don't we grow up? You know, if you've got something to say, come over and say it. You know, don't be a couple of school kids giggling, you know, because they're probably taking the fucking piss out of us or something. Probably me. I seem to be that sort of target. But... You know, I've had my brother here at 2 o'clock in the morning on more than one occasion because he's pissed as a fart, completely rat assed drunk as a skunk, whatever phrase you want to use, and he's been escorted here by police because he's had an argument with his girlfriend. 
and obviously she's gone and called the police, or he's called the police, I know he's done it a couple of times, but obviously because there's a child involved, they remove him, and the last time it happened, I just ignored the door. As harsh as that might seem, the reason I did that is because he never wants to know any of us until he wants to borrow something or needs us. You know, he never, he'll never send like a, ran, a random message um, on Facebook or even drop a message on our wall saying, Hi, how are you? Are you all okay? Nope, nothing like that. I do, I do it to mum. Every time I see mum come online, I'll say hello. If I see a status where my sister has said she's not feeling too well, I'll say, are you alright, you know? Sometimes I'll speak to my dad, if he speaks to me. <laughs> he never will. And like I said, he only ever turns up when he needs us or wants something. And quite frankly, it would have just been like a lava rinse repeat situation. He'll turn up here drunk at two o'clock in the morning, I'll let him in, he'll crash out on the floor with a quilt and a pillow like he's done before with his kebab next to him. Then he'll wake up in the morning and he'll be whinging about her and saying, I can't go back, you know, bloody blah, blah blah, I need to sort things out, bloody blah, blah blah, and he'll always go back. He's done it more times than I care can. And as Mum said, it's hard love. Because if I kept, keep allowing it to happen, then he's just going to get it into his head, you know, that who I've done now, right, just go to my brother's. I don't have to sort the problem out, because I can go there, then go home later that day. And it's not fair on me, because I feel like I'm then being dragged into something, or being used. That's what I actually felt feel like. I feel like I'm being used when he does that. Because the number of times we've asked him, can you just give us a hand to do this, you know? We need a hand for this. Now oh, you're free. Bloody blah, blah, blah. And the number of times... This is why we actually don't like this girlfriend. Because the number of times we've done that, and she has actually started a fuss over it. So, we, we pretty much just washed our hands with it now. Like... I'm speaking of mum, she's online. You know, I don't really... Like I said, I could go into real deep detail, but I'd, I would be here until about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning listing off all the crap she's done and all the threats she's made and blah de blah blah you know. You know, it's probably just all talk, but... And I know some people say, well, why don't you just talk to her and talk the problem out? You can't. And I don't mean that, you know, as in implying you can't talk to a woman, because you can, you just can't talk to her. Because you'll try, and you'll try and reason with it, and she'll just go off and throw a rattle out the pram, and turn on the waterworks, and shout and yell, and... If I think you'd actually have better luck talking to that wooden squirrel up there, to be honest. No, but Dad's sensible. He doesn't get involved. And that's what I've tried to do until I end up getting dragged into it. And that is probably one of the things that pissed me off. You know? I'll sit here, I'll keep myself to myself. Well, you know, apart from socialising on a few um, local Facebook groups, but aside from that, I do keep myself... The hell was that noise, Nemo? I do I do keep myself to myself. Let me just check my battery. Oh, I don't know. Yet. <sighs> I don't know. It's just the way her friend just kept staring all the way across the car park while they were walking and while we were walking. So that really did piss me off because to me, there's no need for it. You know, what's she trying to do? You know, threaten us? I don't know what her intentions were. Get off. Oh. 
Anyway, that's enough of that. I should be going to Mum's tomorrow, actually, if I don't change my mind. It depends how I feel. It's a good job I'm not going over tonight, because I really don't feel like it anyway. I don't feel like going anyway, I don't feel like doing anything. Just having a nice lazy night. That's actually most nights. <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. I think once I've done this video, I might actually disappear to the bedroom. I'll just lay in bed with the laptop watching some TV. Because <sighs> uh, there's not a lot going on on here. Oh, yeah, I've got to do his cat try. I just hadn't had acid and I've still got heartburn. Yeah. Actually, it's probably not a... Pardon me. It's probably not a good idea to chew on another acid because I'm about to drink all this, so... That'll probably just stir up the heartburn anyway. People you may know. Nope. 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 That name does actually ring a bell. I'll admit that one. No. She looks familiar. See, people you may know, that sort of, I um, well, suppose you could call it an app, because it suggests friends for you. But what it does is uh, look at friends in the friends lists of those, you know, that you are friends with, and um, suggest them in case you know them. I hope I... <laughs> I hope I explained that well enough without uh, confusing anyone. So I'm just looking at the um, suggested friends, and there's a couple of people I know the names of. Well, I got to the end of the list yet. I'm so glad he barely ever uses his claws when he does that. He has done, and that hurts. <laughs> and he'll never touch noses, he? He'll give a little sniff, but that's about as far as he'll go. You've got enough food in your dish. I might top it up before I go to bed. So you've got some in there overnight. That way he shouldn't wake me up in the morning. He hasn't done lately. Sometimes he does. He's got this thing now that when he wants to wake me up at like five, six o'clock in the morning, because he's hungry, and his dish is empty, he'll sit on the window ledge right above my head, and all I can hear until I actually get up is, Wow. Wow. <laughs> if that don't work, another trick he does to get my attention is to go into the kitchen. Well, he actually does this when I'm actually awake. He'll go into the kitchen and all I'll hear is him dragging his dish around on the floor. <laughs> but despite all the annoyances from him, I'd never get rid of him. I love him too much for that. Whoops. <laughs> his foot just slipped off my leg and he nearly head butted the uh, computer desk. You'll be a bit careful, buddy. He was my half sisters, my stepsisters, whatever you want to call her. Oh, half sister, I suppose. I sound better than step. Because technically she is, because we've both got the same father, just different mothers. Because um, not long after I moved in here, 
she moved up from Somerset, from down south of the UK, and she was going to leave fluffy ass there, down there, because I was going to put her up here until she got herself settled into her, her own flat sort of thing. I said, no you don't, you bring the cat with you, because I'm an animal lover, and I love, I like the company. In fact, like most people with Asperger's, I'd probably rather be in the company of the cat here than I would a human, but I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know, apparently, um, people with Asperger's relate more to animals than they do humans, I don't of course, I like to hang out with humans, you know, I've got my friends. Well, most of my friends, um, one of them is a stay-at-home type, like me. Stay at home, play video games, blah, blah, blah. He's um, quite a big gamer, actually. So I don't see much of him, and another one of, another two I've got, uh, They've both got girlfriends and kids, and so I barely ever get to see them. And uh, another one I friend I have lives um, sort of mid Norfolk, too far away. But uh, considering I do like to spend most of my time at the Mayo, that's actually quite nice. <laughs> Although it does get boring, even for someone like me who does enjoy time on my own and time to myself, it does get boring and lonely, and I do feel it. So contrary to what people might think about people with autism and Asperger's, they do um, want human contact, you know, to feel loved like any other human. But... Um, we just don't either A, show it like a normal human being would, or we don't want it as much or as often as a normal human being would. <coughs> um, neurotypicals is what we call uh, um, normal people. If normal actually exists, you know. To me, I've always said that Normal is subjective, you know. Normal is, normal is whatever you want normal to be. Because uh, what I would consider normal, there's probably people out there who all may, might watch this video or may not watch this video or, you know, other people in the world that may not consider the same things as normal. And then, of course, you've got the social norm, what's considered norm. So, it is, it's subjective. Normal is subjective. Isn't that right, Nemo? Should we do a battery check? Oh, we're still on the bin. Good. Oh. Okay, so I've got four minutes left. And the clock has clicked over. So, I'll go for a couple of minutes then and... Uh, I suppose I've got to shut down before the video does automatically. So it tells me how many minutes I've got. Well, actually, 4 minutes and 59 seconds is what it's saying I've got left on the card. <laughs> uh, right. Um, yeah, all the items that sold have been paid for, so I ain't got to worry about that. Uh... I haven't bought anything off eBay this time. I've just transferred the cash straight to my bank. Because I actually need it more... No. Pardon me. I need it more than... I need it left in my PayPal, so... It might take 72... I have actually contacted PayPal just to see if there's any... particular reason... why it's suddenly taken 72 hours for me to get my money out of PayPal. Like I said, it never used to. It used to be where um, it would literally say it takes up to two hours and I could guarantee in ten minutes it would be in my, it would be in my bank account. Um, but, ever, but for some reason lately, it 
hasn't been doing that. Every now and again, it might take 24 hours. Literally every now and again, but for some reason it seems to be stuck in 72 hours. Um, I did wonder if it's because uh, a payment is still being held. I don't know why it's still being held. I should have gone back into my PayPal because uh, the case was closed by the uh, buyer because he received his own, so I'm not sure. But I've asked, you know, I've messaged PayPal and we should hear back within 24 hours apparently. But if I don't, I'll just send them another message. And I'll keep doing that until I do get a reply. I'll piss them off eventually. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut down the video. Um, I'll probably hang around on the desktop for a bit longer. And then go to bed. Because I'm actually starting to feel tired. So, thanks for watching, as always. Oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Because, uh, you will see daily videos. Almost daily videos. I take a break now and again, and uh, don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate all that, and much thanks if you do. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.